Hey guys, it's Ashley at Bookish Realm, and I am here with a video that I have never done before on this channel, and it is a manga first impressions video. I've seen a couple of people who specialize in um, their content being related to manga. They do first impression videos where they basically tell you what their first impressions of um of a manga is having maybe read the first volume or maybe the first couple volumes. So I decided to do that because I I have not reviewed a lot of manga on my channel, but I do read manga quite frequently. I think the only major manga review that I have done was um, Food Worship of Geki no Soma uh, by Yuta Tsukuda, um, one of my favorite mangas, the shonen manga um, that I absolutely adore and love. And I think I've reviewed volumes 1 through 10. Um, but I haven't done much outside of that. So I want to start reviewing and doing more first impressions of manga um, to reach my viewers who are big manga and anime fans. So the manga that I'm going to be doing a first impression of today is Monster. And it is by Naoki Urasawa. And it is a psychological thriller horror mystery type of manga. I've never read anything like it before. It was completely amazing. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I definitely give it a five out of five stars. My first impressions, um, basically along the lines where like I've, I've heard about it. I've seen it in the new two and one omnibuses, um, because the original print of monster, um, is no longer being printed. Um, it has gone out of print and I mean, you can find it still probably on eBay. So I have seen the entire 18 volume collection, on eBay, but I have seen the new two-in-one volumes, and I think they're they're absolutely gorgeous. They're really really pretty, and um, I just decided to pick it up on a whim because I had heard quite a bit about it, and um, I did not realize that it was so. I knew it was about a doctor basically who was faced with some really big ethical moral issues about putting certain people's lives above others when it comes to being in you know, working in a hospital. Do you put the hospital's gains before the needs of patients, essentially? I did not realize that it was so medically heavy, but I actually love that. I mean, um, we talk about stuff like brain hemorrhaging and, and stuff like that, because he is a neurologist, if I'm not mistaken. And it, it low-key, all that medical terminology really, really reminded me of Grey's Anatomy, to be honest with you, which I love Grey's Anatomy. So I was really, really excited that I kind of got that feel or that vibe to it. Trust me, it's not, there's nothing like Grey's Anatomy, but the medical terminology really did remind me of Grey's Anatomy. So I really enjoyed that aspect of it. The artwork was completely beautiful. Like I, I really did enjoy the artwork and I wish I actually had a physical copy of this so I could do like a picture in picture video so I can actually show you some of the artwork and the cover and stuff like that but I did borrow a copy from the library so next time that I do this I will make sure that when I um, do a first impression that I keep the book long enough in order to give you guys a, a more um, visual perspective of what I'm talking about when I'm doing my first impression. But overall, just the artwork was really, really pretty. Now, the storyline is what drew me in because, you know, I'm, I'm looking at this doctor who basically is young, trying to make it um, really, really ambitious, really, really sweet guy. And he's faced with some ethical issues about how his hospital is, is operating and how it's being run by the directors. And you know, he makes a decision, and when he makes this decision, <clears throat> at first it seems like it's a good decision, and then it ends up being a completely and total crappy decision. <laughs> you know, he, he figures out that, dang, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but it, it was done in good faith in nature, but in the end, when he realizes what he saved, um, it basically comes across as a title. It's called Monster. So there's a lot of um, mystery elements to it. Like I said, it is a bit of a thriller. Um, their characters are just really, really interesting. But our main character, I'm really interested in seeing where he goes and how he fully develops because it seems like he's going to get caught up in this situation that he doesn't necessarily want to be a part of, but because he made that decision in the first volume, he's not going to really have much of a choice but to be involved in this cat and mouse type game. Um, and we have, of course, detectives involved. The detective in this in this volume is really, really strange to me. 
um, really weird. And I, I'm interested to see how he's going to interplay with the rest of the characters. But I was so interested in, you know, the first volume that I wanted to check out the second volume from the library. Come to find out, y'all, my library only has the first volume, only the first volume of it. So I was highly disappointed, highly PO'd to find out that my library only had the first volume. And I did a purchase for a request just because I want the books to be within the library system for other customers to have. But at this point, I'm probably going to pick up the first two new omnibus, the, um, the, the red covers. I probably will be picking those up myself, um, for myself, so I can add it to my collection. Um, and I'm going to have a bit of a manga haul coming up soon. Because <laughs> I went and I bought some manga off of eBay. Goodness gracious. Um, so I'm going to probably be adding that to to my collection instead of waiting for the library because it takes six to eight weeks and huh, the the manga is just that great that I really just don't want to wait that long so we shall see guys um I hope you like this first impression it's not really more reviews just kind of what I've thought and I'm really interested now in continuing this um manga series and actually purchasing it and adding it to my collection so I think that'll probably be some of the points that I kind of hit on like did I find it interesting? Did I like it? You know, what was my initial rating? Um, do I want to continue the series? Do I want to purchase it, add it to my collection? And then probably once I do get maybe halfway through the series, I probably will do a series review kind of like I did with Food Wars. So that's kind of the tentative plan for right now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you've read Monster, if you've read just the first five more, if you've read the complete collection, let me know and, you know, tell me your thoughts and opinions. Don't spoil me. I don't want to know what happens, but just, you know, let me know whether it's good or not. And if you have not read it yet, definitely pick it up and give it a try. It's definitely worth a try. Um, as always, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content from me, make sure you click the subscribe button. As always, hope you guys have a wonderful day.